Good morning, Apple of God's High. I know you're wondering why she's putting on a mask today. It's actually the new law in Ontario, and we just have to obey the law of the land. Remember when we talked about dominion? It's part of the things we do. We obey the law of the land. Yeah, as I always say, it's always good to be with you in your living rooms every Sunday morning. And I know you're always waiting to have me too. Wow, I've missed you. And I pray that as we're opening up gradually, we're entering into the first three, we'll be able to come together once again. We are all hoping that there won't be a second wave. We are praying, we are hoping, and we are believing God for that. So just like it was announced at the Zoom meeting yesterday, we said, get a pen and a sheet of paper ready for today's exercise. I told you it's a surprise. Yes, so if you're not at the Zoom meeting, get your pen and your sheet of paper ready, and let's wait for Auntie Dami and Auntie Abu to bring the, uh, the surprise. It's a revision, but on another level. So are you ready? Let's just dive into it. Thank you. Hi guys, it's time for peace and worship. So let's go on our feet. And praise God, yeah. You are good and your mercy endures forever. From every nation and country, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. We worship you. Welcome to Jofa Day. I'm your host, Rinomi, and with me today are your contestants, Dami and Ebo. Hi, Hi guys. guys! Yesterday, you were told to grab a piece of paper and, and a pen. pen. So therefore, I hope you have it. If you don't, you have 10 seconds to go grab it. And go! 10 seconds. So, welcome back. Welcome to Jeopardy. And we're going to start with the first question. But before we start with the first question, your pen and paper is for writing down your scores so that you can tally it up at the end and let us know. Whoever gets 100%, like, you get all the possible money gettable, contact me. Or send, send an email. email. Let's go send, you can send an email. Don't come back to me because COVID is out there. Send an email and we will be sure to deal with you. So yeah, tally up your scores, tally up all your money, and then reach out to us at office at Restoration House for see it. Anyways, let's dive into it. Okay, Evo, for Jeopardy today, I'm gonna need you to pick your category and for how much. So again, your category and for how much. Okay, I'm going for power of praise for 
Just two hundred. Yeah, two hundred dollars. Okay. So for two hundred dollars, we have when should we praise God again? When should we praise God? Every time. I think you're right. Great job! At all times, we should praise God at all times. Nice. Okay, your turn, Danny. Mm. So, remember, pick a category and an amount of money. Okay. I'm gonna go with power phrase for $100. I'm Just not $100? Be... You know what? I'm not trying to be greedy. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Who should praise God? Um, I think everyone should praise God. Are you sure? Yes. You were right. Hey, everyone should praise up? God. What's up? What's up? Okay. 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 My turn. Yes. So I'm going for power of praise for three hundred dollars. Three hundred. Oh, you That's can a get lot of money. money. A lot of money. Okay, let's see if you can get the question. Okay. The question is, how can we praise God? Hmm. How can we praise God? We can praise God by singing and dancing. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. How many percent sure are you? 110% sure. Okay. So, yeah, you're right. With a clap, with a... Wait, what did you say? You said a dance and song. Okay, that's perfect. That's good. If you didn't say dance and song, it's okay. You can also have class, you can have instruments, you can have like jumping, you can have whatever you want. Well, I can glorify God, of course. So yes, you can praise God in different ways. Perfect. Okay. Your turn. Pick a category and an amount of money. Okay. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go with authority over sin. For how much money do I want? How much money do I want? I'm gonna say three hundred. Wow, three hundred dollars. Okay, let's see if you get it right. Of course, I'm gonna get it right. What do you do if you have committed sin? Hmm. Hmm. Um, I know you don't. Hmm. Oh, you should. Run to God. You should run to God. Are you sure? Yes. And you okay. have to tell him your story. Then maybe you can go tell your But yeah, I think you should run to God first. Okay, let's see if you're right. What's up? You got it right, guys. Yes. Go back to God and ask him for forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be safe. So, I'm going for a 30 over stand for $100. $100. Okay, you can buy like a shoe with that, so that's good. Your question is, what is sin? Hmm. What a, is sin? That's a good question. Hmm. Sin is anything that doesn't make God happy. Okay, hey, let's see. Good job. Anything we do that makes God unhappy is sin. Perfect. Okay. Okay, your turn. My turn. Now I'm gonna pick from the category freedom from sickness. We did that like three weeks ago. Yeah, freedom from sickness. And I'm gonna go for two hundred dollars. Wow, just two hundred. Mm-hmm. Okay, so your question is, mm-hmm. how many years was the woman with the issue of blood sick for? Uh-oh. Oh boy, that's a big question. Well, huh. Hmm. You're thinking? Yeah, it's been a long time. Excuse you. <laughs> um, I want to say five, but then again, maybe seven. But like, it's possible that everything. Um, maybe nine. Eight? Are you sure? I'm giving you a final Oh, is this one? You no, need no, no, one answer. No, 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 it's not 12 because no, you had 12 disciples, so how can it be 12 years? No, that makes no sense. Um, I'm gonna say seven years. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's find out. Uh oh, that's right. Oh no. Sugar. Shoot. 
You'll get it right next time. <sighs> okay. Thank now you. we know it was 12 years. She suffered with the issue of blood for 12 years and she touched the hem of Jesus' garment and, and she, was she was healed. 12 whole years. 12 years. Yes. Okay. Okay, what do you. So I'm gonna go for $300. Freedom from sickness? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Let's, let's see this. Do it. Ooh, the question What is... did Jesus say that made the people mock him? What did he say that made the people laugh at him? Hmm. I would never laugh at Jesus. Yeah, Jesus that's is... rude. Yeah, it is. Did he say a name wrong? <laughs> like our parents do sometimes? Yeah. Are you scared of saying Maybe, maybe he called her a boy. Oh, that'd be pretty funny if he did that. I'm not Is sure. Is that your final answer? I think he said her name wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Okay, let's check this. No, he said that Jairus' daughter was only asleep. Even though everyone thought that she was dead. That's true. How funny is that? If I someone's dead and someone comes and you're like, oh, they're just sleeping. They're just asleep. Yeah, they thought he was crazy. But I still wouldn't laugh at Jesus. Yeah, no, that's rude. Okay, next. Okay, your turn. <sighs> I'm just gonna pick freedom from demons for... 100. 100? Yeah, I'm still sad about the question I got wrong last time. It's okay, you get it right this time. Hope so. Thank you. Okay, so $100. Okay. So, your question says, did Jesus give us dominion over demons? Duh! Of course he did! Yes! The answer is yes. Okay, let's find out. I told you you're gonna get it right. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay. Okay. Next question, what do you think? Hmm. I'm gonna say freedom for demons for two hundred dollars. <laughs> Let's see this. The question is, what did Jesus say to the demon that was in the possessed man? Hmm. What did Jesus say to the demon that was in the possessed man? This is from the text that we did two weeks ago. Hmm. Yes. Did Jesus tell him to get out of his body? I can see Jesus saying, get out of there. I think True. he said, get out. He did command a lot using his authority. Okay. Let's Do you find think out. that's the answer? I think that's the answer. Yeah. Okay. He was a reasonable answer. Oh, no. Uh, you were close. I mean, he did say, come out of the man. But yeah. he said, be quiet. Come out of the man. So you were pretty close. Well, you did like a solid 70%, but like no money, though. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I get my money. You'll get sometimes. it next time. Exactly. Plus, you have lots of money. You yeah, I do exactly. have lots of money. So you'll be good. Okay, next question. Okay, I'm you're gonna turn. go with freedom from demons for three hundred dollars. Wow, three hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You ready to take on the big one this time? <laughs> yes. Okay. Right. Let's see. Okay. Um, so your question says, "Ooh, what was the memory bird?" Did I change the question? Nope. You said you wanted three hundred dollars. Now you have to work for it. Okay. I remember that the verse was from Matthew. Mm-hmm. And something about sickness, lepers. Oh, oh! It was from Matthew eight, verse ten. You sure? I think so. And it was like, yeah, it was Matthew, Matthew ten, verse eight. Not eight, verse ten. Ten, verse eight. It was Matthew 10 verse 8 mm-hmm. and it says, heal the sick, uh-huh. cleanse the lepers, uh-huh. raise the dead, uh-huh. cast devils, mm-hmm. give as freely as you have received. I think you're right. Let me try one more time. Yeah. Just in case I said something wrong. I think you said Okay. Right. So it was Matthew, <sighs> Matthew 10 verse 8 and it said, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, give as freely as you have received. I'm pretty sure. Mm, 
let's find out. Yes, because it was Ete that did it, and that was two weeks ago. You sure? I think. Right, I remember. Yeah. Okay, and it's for three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. You're about to be rich. Rich, rich. Let's okay. See. Matthew <laughs> Cyrus A. Are you gonna see right? Clans the Leopards, Race the Dead, Cast Devils, Give Us Freely as you have received? You got it right. Good yeah. job. I have a smart cookie. So, boom, we have one section of life. So, you get to choose how much you want from that section. Hmm. I want to get the category. Hmm. Should I go simple? But it's the last category. I want to go for $300. Whoa. Okay. So, for this one, the question is. What should our attitude be towards failure? What should our attitude towards failure be? I remember this. Mm -hmm. Last week, mm. you should be fresh in your mind. We need to remember that failure isn't permanent and it's not final. Yes. Yay. Yes, good job. That's the answer. That's the answer. Defer the fact that I got some questions wrong. Yeah. Yes, it's not final because I got, got it. Wrong. True. And we got questions right too. Exactly. So we should not give up. Exactly. Okay. Next question. Your turn. My turn. I pick power to succeed mm -hmm. for 200. Sure? Next question. Because you already okay. have 300. Okay. okay. So your question says, how can we succeed? Mm. Hmm. Maybe it's almost really hard to succeed. Or like God should be first. So technically, we can succeed by giving it all to God. If we give everything to God and we seek God first, then we can succeed in everything else. I think so. I think you're right. Let's see. Can hey. get everything into the hands of God. You got it right. Thank you. Okay. For so, the last question. Okay, so power to succeed for a hundred dollars. I better get this hundred dollars. Right. The question is, what was the main lesson of the drama job interview? That was so funny. Yeah, I remember it. Sam was in Okay, it. he was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the main lesson is that God wants us to succeed. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. I think that's all right, right too. Yeah, good yeah. job. The answer is God wants us to succeed. Awesome. This is wow. very fun. So we're almost done. And we're here for the last question. It's called Final Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. It's actually a lot of money as well. The theme, the topic for the Final Jeopardy, the final question, is called the movement. This is yes. literally what we've been talking about since this lockdown started. It's been a long, long couple of weeks. Mm hmm and so the question is mention three areas you can have dominion over hmm. mention three areas you can have dominion over want to take this one yeah i'm trying to see what the hint how the hint has anything to do with it it says recent it topic. recent topic um and i know for the past few topics we've done pray find out if you're correct okay. you're right it is since sickness and dean wise what's up great job great job and so kids that's the end of our game that brings us to the end of jeopardy this i want you to tally up all your dollars <laughs> count them all up okay, if you're fortunate you can ask your dad for the money mm -hmm. he might give it to you <laughs> you can just try i don't know <laughs> Thank you for participating, guys. Yes, and I hope we've learned from all the questions that we've done in these past few weeks, past five weeks, that we have dominion and authority over sin, over sickness, over demons. We can succeed in everything because we have dominion over failure as well. 
and we should remember to praise God in all situations because he has given us authority over everything in this earth. Right. So I want you to go into this new week remembering all those things that you have power over everything in Christ Jesus. And yes, have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Hello, children. So nice to be with you again. How was the game? Did you enjoy it? What was your score? And how much money did you win? You know, even if you didn't know all the answers to those questions, now you know them. God bless you, children. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity of being worthy to worship at your feet. We thank you for all that we've learned today and all that we've learned in the past weeks. Daddy, to you be the glory in Jesus' name. We thank you for our mommies and our daddies, our sisters and brothers and all of our family members. We thank you, Lord, for health. We thank you, Lord, for your provision. For all that you do for us, Daddy, we are just so thankful. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you fill us afresh, that you teach us what to do, Lord, in Jesus' name. As you go out into the weeks ahead, Father, we pray you go with us in the name of Jesus. Cause us, Lord, to allow that you will walk in your word. And as we walk in your word, that the blessings of following your word will follow us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.